Harold. This is a story about Harold the helicopter. He thought helicopters were faster than engines because they had propellers instead of wheels. But then Percy challenged him to a race. Percy, he was delivering trucks of stone to the harbor. At an airfield nearby, there was a helicopter buzzing loudly. He, he, he loudly, he, as it waited to land. Silly buzzing thing, said Percy to his driver. I wish that she would go and buzz somewhere else. The next day, hey, Percy made a delivery to the airfield. He stopped next to the helicopter. Hello, said Percy. I'm Percy. Where are you? I'm Harold. Hold, said the helicopter. With my whirling propeller, I can fly like a bird. Don't you wish you had propellers too? Who? No, I like having my wheels on rails. Hills, replied Percy grumpily. I think engines are much too slow, Harold continued. With my propeller, I can go much faster than any of you. Percy was cross, but before he could reply, Harold flew away. Percy puffed angrily into the quarry to pick up his next load of trucks. Hello, Percy, said Toby. You look cross. What's the matter? Percy, he told Toby what Harold had said about helicopters being faster than engines. I'll show him he's wrong, said Percy firmly. Percy puffed back to the harbor. He heard a familiar buzzing noise ahead of him. Look, Percy, said his driver. There's Harold. Oh, let's race him. him. Then and, and he'll see who's, who's fastest. Yes, we'll show him wheels are better than, than those funny whirling arms, said Percy. And he rushed after Harold. Harold heard Percy speeding behind him. He realized Percy was, was racing him to the harbor. You will never beat me, said Harold proudly. I will land. I will, will have landed at the airfield before or you could stop at the harbor wharf. Don't listen to him, said Percy's driver. We can win this. The race was on. Harold thought a little engine pulling a heavy trucks full of stone could never beat him. But suddenly, he, he saw Percy drawing level with him. A few minutes later, Percy's driver shouted, We're in the lead, Percy! Percy was having the time of his life, racing along faster than he had ever gone before. Beep, beep! Goodbye, Harold! He shouted as he raced ahead. Harold looked down in surprise. He couldn't believe Percy was beating him. Harold charged after him. Percy's fireman was shoveling coal into the furnace as fast as he could. He wiped the, wiped the cloth across his hot face. Phew, he said. This is hard work. I hope you do beat Harold. Then and he heard, heard the signal oh, telling war, that warned them that the harbor wharf was nearby. Nearly there, Percy, called the driver. I hope we have, a, have done enough to win. Percy, he... He braked as he approached the wharf. He rolled under the main line and halted at the buffers, puffing loudly. Did we win? He said breathlessly. His driver scrambled onto the calf roof and looked at the airfield. We've won, he gasped. Harold is looking for a place to land. Percy smiled. He had shown when Harold that fast, that engines were just as fast as helicopters. 
Later that day, hey, Harold looked in, later Harold looked embarrassed when Percy made the delivery to the airfield. Percy's driver from it sang a song, said Harold, the helicopter. It's a Percy, you're much too slow. The railway's out of date, you know. Oh, and, and not that much use to you. But Percy, we were still in Next, next day, we had the trip on time. And we beat Harold Copter on our own branch line. Harold smiled as he flew over him. You showed me that, that, that you, you can go, go faster than me, he, he said. I guess wheels are as good as his propellers after all. Percy smiled happily. What fun and it had been racing again against Harold. He couldn't wait to get back to the engine shed to tell the others all about it.